Well, the videos themselves give a sense of harm, of course, his energy, his enthusiasm, his love of geography, but we thought a way of kind of rounding out a portrait of harm this afternoon would be to ask some people who have worked closely and been friends with harm over the years to offer a few comments. So the rest of the session then will be six of us who are going to offer uh, just a few words of comments uh, of a personal nature about Harm and his life and career. We'll start things off with Ryan Flayhive, who is the uh, uh, senior editor for geography, geology, and environmental sciences at John Wiley and Sons. He's worked closely with Harm for many, many years and, and knows Harm very well. Ryan. I was fortunate to record the video of Harm playing Vivaldi on his violin in a study that he just saw a number of years ago, um, a visit to his home in Massachusetts, the home he shared with his wife Bonnie. And I posted it on YouTube because, on the YouTube channel I created for him, because I felt that it was a remarkable demonstration of the well-rounded Renaissance man that Harm was. <clears throat> we worked together for over a decade and I dearly value the opportunity that Harm gave me to participate in my own way in his lifelong mission of geography education. Together, we were able to educate millions of young students, millions of Earth citizens, to help them see how the geographic perspective could help them understand their unique place in the physical and human landscapes around them. It's impossible to imagine what Wiley geography would be like if it would even exist without harm in our pantheon of authors. In fact, just as we were assembling here, I realized for the first time that every author that I'm sharing the stage with now was personally recruited by harm. I certainly would not have the job that I have now and love so much if it were not for harm. From a personal perspective, I miss a dear friend and a mentor. Harm taught me how to use the geographic perspective to transform my love of travel and my love of places into a strong and still growing power of place. I will dearly miss him. <clears throat> 